Hey everyone, Robbie here from Rising Edge Industries, and I just wanted to talk a little bit about the test setup that we've been using and um, we'll use for future videos, probably multiple video series, and mostly focusing on the accelerometers and how we input our test stimulus and um, just, just the general setup. So to start with, we got the device that's been in, in our previous videos so far in um, our standard pack of cards just for reference here and most of the testing in the lab here is done with a test fixture we built out of 8020 hardware from 8020 and a uh, custom machined metal rod here as well as a uh, custom excel faceplate here where we mount all the accelerometers so this is a great test fixture for lab use. Um, it's pretty low cost, a couple hundred bucks, and it's really sturdy, really easy to use. And so um, we've got the front end here of our impact rod where the accelerometers are bolted on with a plate. This is nice because it's modular, so as you change out sensors, um, you don't have to remachine a, a rod, so it's a big cost saver. And on the aft end, this is where we input our test stimulus for pretty much all the tests we're doing and generally we use a, a hammer of some sort or the handle of a hammer it's either the wood or the rubber handle mallet handle um, you can also use the metal side but there's so much ringing that generally the handles of one of these two are good especially if you hold the rod while you impact it you can get a pretty clean signal and so it's just a couple simple parts uh, the rod it's suspended by some um, string here that's held in place by a couple bolts in the 8020 up top and so this is a really efficient um, very useful test fixture for accelerometer testing and on the front end for these tests especially in the overview series they consist any accelerometer test will consist of these three it's a it's in Devco 7264H uh, and two 7270A60Ks, so there's a uh, 1000 G accelerometer here and then two 60Ks mounted here. Uh, the cable harness for these are cabled over to some breakout boards. In our bench test fixture here we've got just basic um, electronics test equipment, signal generator, scopes. And those are cabled out to a lab made breakout board. So these take the cable harnesses from the Excels, break them out into excitation, um, data, ground, and um, the shield, just to make sure we don't have any noise coupling in. And so there's a breakout board for the two. This one's for the 7270 60Ks. This is for the 7264H 1K and uh, that's the breakout board for this. We also epoxy the cable harnesses down onto the proto PCB just as a strain relief. This is extremely important because these wires are really delicate and they break all the time. And we put some jumpers on the end of them and then we jumper them into a test fixture we use for production calibration and verification um, of production units before they're assembled in the housings and potted. So this is pretty much what we've got is a test fixture and when we do um, when we do a potted unit testing we've been using these so far in the videos and soon we'll have a finished final production unit bre breadboard which will allow us and customers to bolt this down onto an optical breadboard and we'll have pluggable adapter cards and cable harnesses for the tongues that break those out to a board that is test equipment interface friendly here so signal generators or any other kind of custom wiring harnesses so we'll have a video on that soon but for now this is the setup this is the test fixture we're using here the accelerometers and um, so hopefully this gives you a good idea of of what the setup looks like for these video series that we're putting out